The ultrasonographic appearance is consistent with a post-traumatic liver parenchymal laceration. The examination contains two components. Top left, grayscale static image. Top right, contrast examination during arterial static image. Below we have dynamic images. It corresponds to the situation of a patient with trauma after a car accident and a very serious liver injury. The changes are important because they show the usefulness of ultrasound, certain limitations, and the importance of complementary examination modules. The liver is clearly visible in the upper left. The approach is through the intercostal space. Below we have the inferior vena cava, which is a little pinched, a little collapsed, the line of the diaphragm, the appearance of the liver capsule, and importantly, the liver parenchyma with two structural changes. One of the pathological changes, the one in the center of the image, consists of a structural change with increased heterogeneous echogenicity, imprecisely delineated, and the rest, the liver parenchyma, is normal in appearance. Here in this central area, we suspect the existence of a laceration, but we do not have a certainty. Obviously, real-time ultrasonographic examination may be, shall we say, more eloquent. However, the changes are not very characteristic. On such an image, sometimes we can think of a hepatic hemangioma. Such a structure, being echogenic, being heterogeneous, could be pre-existing the actual trauma. As a result, the next step is contrast examination. Contrast is extremely eloquent. We are in arterial time. Injection of contrast gel is performed. In the 18th second, we have this image, which is characteristic. In the area corresponding to the gray scale on the contrast image, we have an area of devascularization. Of course, in this situation too, we can consider a hemangioma, but the appearance is persistent with no elements of progression inwards towards the formation, towards the avascular area. Very importantly, there is also hyperemia of the hepatic parechium around the area of devascularization, which is characteristic of vasoconstriction in trauma. So we are dealing with a more or less clearly demarcated area of devascularization with a more fringed appearance showing the extent of the phenomenon and also with this area of hyperemia, the situation corresponding to the 18th second. Examination with contrast already in dynamics is very eloquent. What you see here on the left side is very clear. We start the loop at the ninth second and we can see the loading of the central area of the liver, loading with avoidance of circulatory signal in the area of laceration, in the area of tissue destruction where the circulatory elements are already altered, while around the lesion there is, as we can see very well, this phenomenon of hyperemia, which is an aspect that we explain from a pathophysiological point of view, and which in this case also has a diagnostic value. So, this is the usefulness of ultrasound examination in certain conditions, such as trauma. Of course, in this case, we are talking about an ultrasound focused on the liver, but even so, the exploration extends over the whole abdomen and any other elements, such as perihepatic collections or collections in the pelvis or Morrison, are already elements that suggest a hemoperitoneum and certainly direct the therapeutic solution towards surgical intervention. Mm -hmm.